June 25th, Orléans. Dead France is returning to life. Our army swells with new recruits. In olden times, men swore fealty only to that particular lord. Now we fight not for insolent lords and ladies, but for France. For all of us, Jean is France. There is no distinction in our minds. The Dauphin himself has arrived in Orléans. Never have I seen such a celebration. France needs a king, so we must escort the Dauphin to Rennes, where he can be properly crowned. Yet, the city of Rennes is dangerously menaced by the Anglo-Burgundian army. The cities of Troyes and Chalon also bar the way. Jean commands that we must liberate all three cities before the coronation, and we eagerly seek to fight. Travel west to reinforce the French town, but be wary of an opposition along the way. Joan, again, must survive. I need to gain control of the river, that's a good strategy, but I shouldn't squander my resources on ships. Chalon is the closest and most vulnerable of the three English occupied villages. Making an example of them early could even the odds for me in the long run. I need to remember my objectives, it's not necessary to level the cities, I just have to destroy the town centres to force the English to withdraw. I have to wall off all shallows to slow the enemy invaders. Let's begin. Send those two scout cavalry up there to scout ahead. Even though I kind of know what I'm doing, it's rather complicated. Note that there are Chalon, which is the uh, second one, if I'm not mistaken. They're here. Joan of Arc is attacking our camps. Do not let her cross the river. Oh right, since I have monks, I can use them to heal each other. Let's just get rid of these uh, houses. The British guards are a bit of a pain. Oh, those guys decided to come back. Now let's continue onward. I suggest that we attack that pretty quickly, but not immediately. We'll get a few knights and destroy it. Remember that we don't always need siege workshops. What I'm going to do is keep those on no um, attack and keep them at the river crossing so I can scout them. We were assigned to help you construct right, your military camp. That's that con. They were assigned to help me construct my military camp. Ah, this guy as well has to die. Good. Joan should stay here. No, that she has to survive. Don't have much in the way of anything really. But I will send these guys here. Right, note that there's two guys going for that and two guys going for that as well. So we'll make two men get gold as well. Just for now. Later on, we'll need to get more. That castle. Now we have it all up to castle age stat which is what we used before. Having them in Imperial Age standards would be really cool. We'll be going to the Imperial Age soon. Yeah. 
And we can invite you to the Imperial Age. If we manage to get to the Imperial Age, we'll be able to make everything better, really, in Imperial Age. Very much. I think we can even have cannons in Imperial Age, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Swap all these archers for hand cannoneers. Might not be the best thing in the whole wide world to do. Just even these archers, crossbowmen have better range. 
cannons are stronger. Flash the range. Throwing axemen. Elite throwing axemen. Hoardings will help. As we rode into Rhin, a sea of peasants and lords knelt before Jean. Some even knelt to kiss a horse's hoofprints, cannon thundered, and a thousand flags danced in the breeze. In the enormous palace, the Dauphin knelt before the Archbishop and rose as King of France. Prayers, anthems, and sermons filled the great chateau. Interspersed among perfumed dukes and ladies were tattered soldiers from our army, many still bearing wounds. Jean herself was at the king's side, as was her bedraggled battle standard. Despite the celebration, I know in my heart that this war is far from over. Our fathers and grandfathers died fighting against the English. Jean gives us hope, but I do not know if hope is enough to ensure victory. 